Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about one of the most important concept in digital logic design and switching theory and logic design is difference between latches and flip flops. Here both latches and flip flops are called as storage devices. They are used for storing only one bit of information. That is the similarity between latches and flip flops. Now we have to identify some of the differences between latch and flip flop that we are discussed in this video. First point in latch. A latch works based on the enable signal. That means a latch can be operated by using only enable signal. Without using enable signal, a latch does not perform any operation. Whereas in the case of flip-flop, a flip-flop works based on the clock signal. So without using any clock signal, a flip-flop cannot be operated its operation so that compulsory it to operate the flip flop we have to use the clock signal next second point the operation of a latch is faster because it do not have wait for any clock signal so whatever the operation that have to be done by using latch that can be done very fastly because a latch do not wait for any clock signal because only it uses enable signal so because of that reason it do not have any wait for clock signal so that the operation within the latch can be done very fastly whereas in the case of Flip-flops are comparatively slower than latches due to the clock signal. In the flip-flops, we have to use the clock signal. They have to wait for clock signal to perform the operation through the flip-flop. So because of that reason, flip-flops are comparatively slower than latches because of only clock signal. It can wait for the clock signal to perform the given operation. Next, third point, latches are constructed with the logic gates. So, latches are constructed with the logic gates because the basic building blocks for constructing the latches are the logic gates such as AND gate, OR gate and NOT gate, NAND gate and NOR gate also used for constructing the latches. Whereas flip-flops are constructed with the clocks and gates. To construct the flip-flop such as SR flip-flop, JK flip-flop, D flip-flop, T flip-flop, we have to use the clock signal and logic gates. Both Logic gates and clock are used for constructing the flip-flops whereas in the case of latches only gates are used for constructing the latches. Next fourth point the power requirement of a latch is less. So in the case of latches power consumption is very less to perform the required operation. Whereas in the case of flip-flops, power requirement of a flip-flop is more. So because of clock signal, it can take more power to perform the required operation. Next one, latches are simpler to design as there is no clock signal. So here, latches are very easy to design because it does not require any clock signal. It can require only enable signal. 
So because of that reason, latches are very simpler to design. Whereas in the case of flip locks, flip locks are complex to design when compared to latches because it requires the clock signal. Next one, latches do not require clock signal for perform its operation. We already know that so latches do not require any clock signal to perform the required operation. So they can use only enable signal to perform the required operation. Whereas in the case of flip flops, so flip flops uses the clock signal to perform the required operation. Next one, latch is an asynchronous device. So we already know that latch is an asynchronous device, whereas in the case of flip flop is a synchronous device. In asynchronous devices, we do not require any clock signal, we can use enable signal. Whereas in the case of synchronous devices, compulsory it can use clock signal to perform the required operation. Next one, latch is a level sensitive device. Okay, so here latch is called as a level sensitive device because it can involve the level triggering technique. Whereas in the case of flip lock, flip lock is a edge triggering device. Okay, because it involves the edge triggering technique. Okay, so because of that reason, so flip flops are called as edge sensitive devices. So because it involves the edge triggering technique. Whereas in the case of latch is a level sensitive device because it involves the level triggering technique. Next point is latches are transparent devices that is when they are enabled the output changes immediately if the input changes. That means in the case of latches when we are applying the input immediately the output is also changes when the latch is enabled. Okay. If the latch is enabled, whenever the output is, whenever the input is changed, immediately output is also changed. So because of that reason, latches can be called as transparent devices. Okay. Simply, we can say that whenever we are applying the input, the output of the latch is immediately changes when the latch is enabled. Hence, we can say that a latch is called as transparent devices. Whereas in the case of flip lock, a transition from low to high or high to low of the clock signal will be, will cause the flip lock to either changes its output or retain it depending on the input signal. Okay, so whenever we are applying the input and the clock signal, the output of the flip flop can be changed from high to low or a low to high. So based on the input signal we are applying. Next one, examples for latches are SR latch. Examples for flip flops are SR flip flop, JK flip flop, T flip flop and D flip flop. Okay, so here in, in this point when we are applying the clock signal and also input signal the output of the flip flop can be changed from high to low or a low to high. Okay, here in this case when we are uh, applying the input, the output of the flip flop, output of the latch is immediately changes when the latch is enabled. Hence, we can say that latches are transparent devices. So these are the 10 differences between latch and flip flop. So thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video. If you like this video, 
please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates please subscribe my youtube channel so divela srinivas rao Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.